Okay, for the muffins, the ingredients that we're gonna need, it's gonna be four ripe bananas, two cups of all-purpose flour, two eggs, one and a half sticks of butter melted, two teaspoons of vanilla, half a cup of chopped nuts. I am using walnuts. You can use pecans, almonds, whatever, whatever you like. Uh, and one cup of packed brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to mix our dry ingredients so we can have them ready. Okay, we're gonna take our flour and our salt, our baking soda, and our cinnamon, and we are gonna give this a whisk. And then I'm gonna pop you all over to the mixer. You can do this with the hand mixer. You can even do it by hand if you want to. This is not a temperamental recipe. Okay, we have this ready. I'm gonna pop you all over. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put our bananas and our sugar in here, and we're gonna beat it for about two minutes, two to three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down the bottom to make sure there's nothing hanging out at the bottom. And we're gonna start putting in the eggs one at a time and the vanilla. Okay, so here we go with the egg. And the vanilla. Okay, now we're gonna pour in the butter. You do not want to over mix it. Okay, for the topping, we're going to need a quarter of a cup of melted butter, a half of a cup of flour, a third of a cup of brown sugar, and two, uh, half of a cup of walnuts, chopped walnuts, uh, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our flour, just basically mix everything in there at the same time. Okay, we're gonna give this a little stir around first. Okay, we're just gonna break this up. Make sure everything is well combined before adding the butter. And then we toss in the butter. And we're gonna spoon it into the muffin tin, into the muffins on top. And we're gonna put them into a 375 degree oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. You need to check your oven at at least 12 minutes Everybody's oven is different. Okay, now we are going to scoop the batter into these muffin tins. I have them lined with some parchment paper uh, liners, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just butter and flour them so the mixture doesn't stick. Okay, I am going to put one scoop into each one, so it should be about halfway because we still need room for the topping, for the crumb topping. Okay, we're going to take our filling and we're going to spoon over each one. And we're going to press down just a little bit. I fill them all up first and then if I have left over I go back and, and add more so I can make sure I have enough for all the muffins. Okay guys, these are going in the oven. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Okay guys, that's going to conclude the video. I want to show you a close-up of the muffin. They're so moist and delicious. They smell awesome. They're great for a snack or for breakfast or just after school for the kiddos. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and please share my videos on your social media and join me on my YouTube channel at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Talk to y'all later. Bye.